Hey guys, New727 here, and today I am playing Harvest Moon. Um, I think it's Harvest Moon Back to Nature or something for the PlayStation 1. Uh, as I said, PlayStation 1 game, I'm playing this on my uh, PlayStation Vita for the emulator feature. And, uh, yeah. So I've got a bit of a farm going here. I've played about a week so far, and uh, things are coming along. Got some uh, potatoes planted and some turnips. Exciting. So yeah, I uh, got a $20 PlayStation Network card and I bought this along with um, an Ellie avatar for my PlayStation Network account. Yeah. Well, if you haven't played The Last of Us yet, go get that because that is an awesome game. Uh, Hotline Miami's coming out in a few days, which is why I got the card, and, uh, I'm not sure if I can't wait for that or not, because I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked repeatedly, because I suck at that game, but I love it so much. So, yeah, we just watered all the plants. Let's, uh, get on with more of that heart-pounding Harvest Moon action. No, but uh, all joking aside, uh, this is actually a really good game. If you um, if you played a Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town for the Game Boy Advanced, which is uh, my all-time favorite Harvest Moon, Oop. fucking back touchpad. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing. Ah, oh, you bastard! Uh, the only thing that sucks about this is I'm still getting used to the damn controls. Do I already have shit in my inventory? No. Uh, if you press the back touchpad, you'll put shit in there on your own, but it's not cooperating with me right now. Um, uh, only reason I'm taking these things is because if you bring them to your, uh, the thing you take to sell shit, you'll get a little bit of money for them, and I am broke right now. I spent all of it on turnips and potatoes. But, such is life, I suppose. But yeah, th this is uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, Friends of Mineral Town, and, and that was really good on the Game Boy Advance. That was one of my all-time favorite games. And the only difference between this is it's got, you know, some horrid caricature of 3D going on here. Blah, blah, blah. That is a word I cannot pronounce offhand. I don't use that often. Let's go. Uh, let's go see what's going on in the town. Uh, I'm not sure if it's called Mineral Town in this game, uh, in the Game Boy Advance version it is, but I think it is called something different in this game, which is pretty stupid because it literally is like a carbon copy of the uh, Game Boy Advance version. This is like, uh, I think it was like seven or six dollars in the PlayStation Store. Like, I, I, if you like Harvest Moon games, go for it. I have no problems with this. Except for the, uh, the controls. I'm too used to the precise controls and analog sticks, and now I'm using the D-pad for this. It isn't really the game's fault, you know, it's a fucking PlayStation 1 game. Uh, and another thing to point out, uh, as I've shown other videos, uh, if you press down the uh, touch screen for a few seconds, it'll bring up a menu. Um, for some reason, when I go to play PlayStation games, by default, it uh, starts off in, like, minimized, like, the, it doesn't fit the full screen. Uh, if you go into that menu, you can make it so it, like, uh, stretches out to fit the entire Vita screen. Which, uh, the Vita does a really good, uh, job of upscaling it to fit the screen. It's one thing I don't like about the 3DS, is it, uh, stretch shit out, like, a lot. But, uh, it doesn't really fuck up the graphics or anything in this. Not that you're gonna be playing a PlayStation 1 games for the amazing graphics, but... We're not gonna save. That's about it for that day. Let's see if anything starts to grow. Probably not, because I fucked up my setup and I wasn't able to uh, get to half of the plants in the center there. I didn't realize that the plants would be a solid object that I'm not able to walk through. And that's just some beautiful rain effects. Okay. Oh! Back touchpad is cooperating with me. Haha! -ha! So yeah, you take uh, all the 
shit you grow or find and you bring it over to this thing and throw it in there and some guy comes at the end of the day and gives you money so you can rinse and repeat this process. And believe it or not, it's, a, it's addictive. Better than fucking Farmville, at least. I don't know when this game came out. It's old. But, uh, if you have a PlayStation Vita, you're probably game as game-starved as I am, so... You know, take a trip down memory lane, get a PlayStation 1 game or two. Or a PSP game, because some of them are apparently some of the best goddamn games I've ever played. But I neglected to play them back on the PSP. Most PSP games actually play better on the Vita, though, anyway. But all in all, this is a good game. And that's about all there is to say. It's a PlayStation 1 game. I would hope you're not watching this for some pulse-pounding action. I'm just trying to show you how the, uh, how the situation works. Are these fucking done? Oh, holy shit, the potatoes are done. I'm gonna be a rich man after today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for the for the taters. Uh, another recording setup I'm trying here. Uh, I uh, posted another video a while ago to uh, show off another setup I was trying. Let me know what you uh, think of this one I got going though. Uh, I'm kind of sitting in a Again, an awkward position behind the camera, so the, the Vita's falling out of the camera a bit, but, um, you know, you get a, you get a better view of the screen, it doesn't come out as focused, uh, as much, and, you know. Oh, awesome, one fucking potato is done. Get in the inventory. You gotta press on the back touchpad, uh, in a certain spot, and it'll em emulate a, uh, button. I'm assuming R2 or something. But sadly, I cannot do that because uh, it's just not cooperating with me right now. It's a good game, though. You know, it's Harvest Moon. It's a classic. I, all the Harvest Moon games are pretty much the same thing, but uh, with, you know, a few extra touches or something added to it. And there's nothing wrong with this here. I'm probably going to cut the video after after the next day, because again, there's not really much to show here. It's one of those games that's uh, it's more for you to play than it is to watch other people. This is probably boring as hell. But it's like six or seven dollars. Like, you know, if you if you like games like these, go get it. Pretty much you just got to run a farm. You can add on to it, you know, get bigger, uh, what would you call it, barns and grow plants. And I believe you, in this one you can get uh, married. I'm not sure if you can have kids in it, but uh, pretty much you just you just have a you know start a life on a farm. There's a little bit of backstory to it, but it's nothing that's really gonna nothing to really talk about. PlayStation One games work really well on the Vita, though. I gotta say, the other uh, PlayStation One game I played on the PlayStation Vita was um, I think Persona Two or Three. I think it was two, and uh, that works really well on here. But uh, you know, that, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to show this off real quick because it's a uh, it's a fun little game. You know, if you got a little a few bucks laying around, go get it. Uh, another thing, you know, as I said at the beginning of this video, Hotline Miami is coming out uh, during the next drop, and that's that's going to be good most likely. If you played it on the PC, then you you know you know what you're getting into. Look it up. That game is fucking ridiculously hard. But, uh, yeah, you know, check out my other videos if you're interested. Most of them are pretty much just me showing off other games running on the PlayStation Vita. Uh, very few of them are PlayStation Vita games because we don't have any. But, um, you know, like the video, check out the other ones, and thanks for watching.